my colleague Francis Ontomwa. He's speaking to us about that uh, suit that was uh, put out uh, by Alliance for Real Change presidential candidate Mohamed Abdubadida. Remember that he sued uh, the companies that are behind uh, planning that presidential debate, saying that uh, they are unfair. Uh, because they will be featuring two categories of candidates, those who have garnered 5% uh, in a popularity uh, poll and those who have not. And therefore, he moved to court to challenge this. Let's now link up with my colleague, uh, Francis Antoma. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. What's the latest from that front? Uh, well, good morning, Betty. And uh, yes, uh, we are here at the White Sands uh, Hotel, where, of course, the colloquium of uh, uh, the judges is going on here, but it has been uh, uh, interrupted a bit here because there is an important case uh, that is going on here, and it has everything to do with Abdul Badida. And the case uh, was brought before Justice Judge uh, John Mativo of the High Court of Milliman in Nairobi, and uh, he has, uh, he has uh, said that he'll be giving his determination on Friday regarding on whether Abdul Badida should be... Abdul Badida and the rest uh, of uh, the candidates uh, who, who, who claim to have been discriminated against will be included or will or, or the presidential debate will be stopped altogether. It has been an interesting case uh, that was uh, I had, that had arguments for and against, of course, judges, uh, lawyers from both sides trying to make uh, their, their arguments clear before the, 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 the judge uh, who was actually following this particular case. And what has come out is the fact that uh, Abdul Badida's lawyer has presented a case saying he feels uh, that his client has been discriminated again as he says he has information that the steering committee uh, in charge with uh, organi organizing the presidential debate has uh, uh, divided the presidential debate into two phases and he says the first phase has only been accorded to two candidates while the rest of the six candidates have been uh, have been told that they will be participating in the in the second phase of the debate and that is what Abduba say, Abduba Dida says uh, and he argues uh, his argument actually based on article 27 he says he has been discriminated against and uh, by the fact that they were cleared, all of them by IBC. Uh, they all ought to have been up, ought to have been given a, an equal platform uh, to, 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 of course, uh, bring out their case. But the lawyers who are representing uh, the, the, the media side are saying that uh, there is no any sort of discrimination that has been brought here, and they are saying that uh, they, they acted actually based on, uh, on, 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 on information that has been coming from uh, from uh, from uh, uh, an, an, an analysis that have been conducted and uh, debates that have been conducted, and they're saying that they have uh, they, they had a threshold actually on who should participate in the first phase and who should be in the second phase, and uh, it's an argument that has been, of course, uh, has, been, has, has just been ignited here, and Mativo will be making that determination on Friday on whether Abdul Dida will be on, the, on that presidential debate on the first phase, or the presidential debate will be stopped altogether. And I want to have a brief interview here with a member of the committee uh, charged with, pre with preparing for this presidential debate to give us some insights and what really this means for this uh, uh, the debate. Uh, welcome uh, to KTN News. Thank you very much. Uh, you are, give us a, your, intro, give us a, your, your introduction and talk to us about today. The determination will be made Friday on whether Abdul Badida has a case or whether uh, he will be included or it will be stopped altogether. What do you make of this case? Uh, my name is uh, Clifford Machoka, head of uh, Corporate and Regulatory Affairs at the Nation Media Group, but also a member of the uh, steering committee on presidential debates. Um, I think what we have had here is uh, Dida, uh, who has claimed that uh, he is going to be discriminated against, and uh, he's brought a petition, a constitutional petition, uh, before the court seeking that uh, the presidential debates uh, should be stopped. Um, and I think what then we, you know, you had inside there um, is that our contention is that he's not going to be discriminated because the, our guidelines that were published on 9th of June 2017 are based on an objective selection criteria. That selection criteria is 5% um, where we've said if you have 5% and above, then you participate in part A or part B. If you have 5% and below, and you also participate in another part. Uh, that means that it is actually a debate that is taking care of all presidential candidates. And I think it's very progressive because when you see other international best practice, as opposed to, for example, the United States of America, whereby they have a very high threshold. In the United States of America, they have uh, two or three criteria uh, which are quite high. One is, obviously, you have to be cleared, which is something that IBC has already cleared them. Secondly, is that you have to have um, 
that level of success in all the states of the United States. And lastly, is that you must get 15% of all the national, of five national average national polls. Now, in our case, we say 15% is too high, uh, 5%. But what the question then is why 5%? And now 5% is based on the 1 million um, sort of votes uh, on the referendum that you required, which is a popular vote. And we thought there has to be a basis. So 5% has a basis. And what we've said is for the efficacy and efficient administration of the debates, it's important to have certain guidelines uh, that will enable the Kenyan public to fully interrogate the issues and the manifestos of the presidential candidates. Thank you so much, Mr. Clifford Machoka, for those insights. Uh, Clifford Machoka is a member of the committee that is preparing the presidential debate, giving us a bit of insights on what he makes of this particular case. Of course, uh, you may want to remember that Abdul Badida analyst in the last election said that he was actually uh, given some uh, leap into the election and made some ground, actually, because of the presidential debate, and perhaps why this uh, debate really means a lot to him and why he's fighting it out here. But the committee here preparing uh, this debate has made it quite clear that there is no any discrimination whatsoever. It is an informed decision uh, that, of course, uh, will be uh, that is, uh, of course, well intentioned, uh, so that Kenya can be have uh, an opportunity to be able to choose their leaders on an informed platform. Back to you. Very much, Francis and Toma. They're reporting uh, from Mombasa. Let me come back to my panel of guests, and I'll introduce Charles Omanga. He was not there earlier, but he's just joined us. And Charles, I'd like to start with you. Maybe just a comment about uh, 